The Project Grant Scheme is the National Health and Medical Research Council's largest annual research funding program. Each year, the highest quality independent grant review panels undertake assessment of eligible project grant applications. Over six weeks to mid-September, members of the research community will gather to assess around 4,000 applications. This will involve 36 12 to 15 member grant review panels, each meeting for a week to assess up to 120 applications. Before the panels start in Canberra, panel members will have received membership packages by email, including all applications for review, briefing notes, assessments, and applicants' responses to assessor comments. Membership packages will be individually adjusted for any conflicts of interest. A primary and secondary spokesperson will have already been selected for each application. Their roles will be to assess the applications and score them across three criteria – scientific quality, significance and innovation, and track record of the application team relative to opportunity. Each panellist should expect to act as primary spokesperson on around eight applications and secondary spokesperson on a further eight. Their assessments need to be completed prior to the review week and presented to the panel. With so many applications to process, early removal of non-competitive applications known as not for further consideration will make this mammoth task a little easier. A list of applications flagged NFFC will be compiled by the NHMRC based on spokesperson scores and handed to each panellist. On day one, each panellist will confidentially review the list of NFFC applications. They can confirm the list by signing the bottom of the NFFC sheet, but they can also rescue any application by circling it in the list. NFFC sheets will then be compiled by chair or secretariat. Rescued applications will be put back into the GRP process without any mention of having been on the NFFC list and dealt with on a subsequent day. Each grant review panel will be chaired by a neutral and independent expert on behalf of the NHMRC. Chairs are experienced researchers or senior NHMRC officers with extensive peer review experience. They'll ensure no panellist exerts undue influence and they'll keep the process on time. Chairs will also co-manage any conflicts of interest, along with secretariat staff, and facilitate budget discussions. Assistant chairs will aid chairs and summarise key points made by primary and secondary spokespersons, especially for changes to budgets. A seamless review process will depend on collegial and professional behaviour. In this regard, it's vital that panellists declare any personal or professional relationships or institutional affiliations that could unduly influence an application. Confidentiality of the process must be maintained in perpetuity. Should any contentious issues arise requiring assistance to resolve, chairs and panellists can obtain information and guidance from senior NHMRC officials. A review time of about 20 minutes per application should ensure all applications are considered over five days, with the reconfirmation of final ranking of applications occurring on the Friday. The cycle of an application in the grant review panel process will start with the chair announcing its app ID, title and any conflicts of interest. Any panellist with a high conflict of interest will leave the room, but they can be called back to offer a scientific opinion. The extensive NHMRC briefing information must be consulted to ensure that conflict of interest is rigorously managed. The primary spokesperson will discuss applications noting strengths and weaknesses in five to six minutes. The presentation should reference the three specific assessment criteria. The secondary spokesperson will present a three to four minute report on the external assessment and the applicant's response to the assessor's comments. They may also briefly comment on the assessment criteria but should not just repeat the primary spokesperson's comments. As research and scientific experts, all panellists will assess and score applications following discussion by the entire panel. During these considerations, an independent observer 
a highly respected volunteer representing the broader community may be present to listen to the GRP process for short periods. They will report daily to the CEO or senior NHMRC staff and the GRP chairs. Spokespersons and panellists will rate applications with scores from 1 to 7 across the three assessment criteria. In the final scoring process, the balance of individual component scores will be weighted 50% for scientific quality, 25% for significance and innovation, and 25% for track record of the application team relative to opportunity. The primary and secondary spokesperson will reveal their scores in all three assessment categories. At this stage, applications with low scores, those under category 4, will be flagged as non-competitive applications or NCAs and removed from the process. Those with high scores, on the other hand, may only need brief discussion. Applications in the mid-range will usually need detailed discussion. Finally, all panellists will complete score sheets for the application in a secret ballot and forward them to the Secretariat, who will enter them into a database and announce the final scores to the grant review panel. When the application has been reviewed and scored, the panel can begin budget discussion if it has an overall category score of 5 or above. Budget discussions will also get underway for applications with a category score of 4, which are considered special initiative, new investigator or indigenous health applications. The Marshall and Warren Award recognises applications with a category score of 4 or above, considered innovative and higher risk and also offering significant gains in new areas of knowledge and or concept development. Each grant review panel can choose to nominate just one application for this award for consideration by the NHMRC. So finally, let me thank you for uh, agreeing to be a member of the GRP panel and its system this year. Uh, thank you for the work you've already done and the work you'll do between now and when the panel meets. I look forward to uh, seeing you in Canberra while you do that crucial central uh, work of the NHMRC and that is high quality peer review. We all work to improve the health of Australians and peer review is right at the centre of that. So thanks again.